Hi there folks, Gareth here, and this is the Lumsing 4-port USB wall charger. This is a pretty cheap little wall charger, costs $7.99 off Amazon at the moment. It's usually £16, but they're having a bit of a sale at the moment, so it's worth checking out, given that it's only $7.99. It comes in two diff or three variants of colour. There is blue, orange and grey. This should be the grey one. And it's a 21 watt, 4 port, 5 volt, 4.2 U amp USB wall charger, travel charger, and it works with your iPhone, iPad, Samsungs, Galaxies, uh, HTCs, and all that kind of stuff. So obviously, if color is one of the things that you are needing for your USB char wall charger, this is one to look at. Ooh. And there's an abundance of them, so it's actually nice to see one that is so small uh, that costs so little, especially at the moment. Okay, so power user program. That's some sort of affiliate program that you can enter into and get free stuff And if you sell so many. Okay, and a user manual for the wall charger that I don't think many people will be requiring. So, the device itself comes in a bit of plastic. It's textured. It's not smooth plastic at all. It's actually quite rough. It's, it's kind of nice. Um, I'm trying to think what it, what it reminds me of. It's like dry toothpaste. <laughs> you can see there there's actually a little bit of a smudge uh, from the whatever it is they've sprayed on this to make it uh, quite textured. But that's kind of nice. It's easier to grip that way and you throw it into the wall socket and pull it in and out. It just goes quite nicely, yeah. Uh, so we have four parts, four, four ports on the back, three smart ports, and one uh, quick charge 2.0 port. It doesn't actually give you a full breakdown of what way these work. Uh, we have QC 2.0, and I just assume that means quick charge 2.0. Uh, but what it says on the description is that this, the orange one, uh, this can charge a compatible device up to 75% faster than a standard charger. So that is standard quick charge statistics, really. Uh, the other three are smart charges so that when all four ports are active, it never puts out more than 4.2 amps. If you want it in terms of wattage, it delivers 25 watts of, uh, of power simultaneously, which does seem to be quite novel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, plug it into a Belkin 3 amp cable and hook it up to a Nexus 6 that is failing on battery power. And then we'll check these ones as well over the course of a couple of days and see just how well it does. So let's get into it. Okay, so what we need for this is a plug, the adapter, and of course that Belkin cable, this is it. Three amps, <clears throat> very Belkin, was terribly expensive when purchased. And does a pretty good job of uh, topping up phones, especially from the original Nexus chargers. Plug that into there and put that into the plug itself, which I'm having trouble putting in there because the, the coating is also over the earth pin on the plug. But it still goes in anyway. Shove this in here, and we should get the battery charging indicator. Now, the phone isn't fully empty. I thought it was. I'd put it on a battery drainer for about three hours. Came back, and it was off. Maybe it just overheated or something like that and turned off. But uh, after we get it boot up, you can see that it's only about 47% or so. It's uh, 101 that we've got this plugged in. Once Focus actually manages to put, there we go, uh, 101. And uh, we're just going to leave it for a while and see how much of a charge we can get after a certain interval. So here we are at 142, the same day, and the charge has gotten up to 69%. So that's a, not a huge amount of, uh, for 41 minutes, that's not a particularly uh, massive 
difference in the charge, and I think the actual Nexus charger itself with USB-C does an awful lot better. Now to charge the smart charger section, uh, we I've, the battery is particularly low this time around. It is 15% this time. We've just got to, got to stick it in uh, to the smart socket here, like so, and then take this, put it in here, and it'll charge. Just turn it off to give it a fair test because the screen was off last time. So having plugged it in at 1528, it's now 1552, and the charge is up to 37%, so that's an increase of 22%-ish. So uh, yeah, that's that's not terrific. But these quick chargers does just, just seem to be really uh, hit or miss. Uh, the best one you can go with is the original one that came with your phone. Something like this might give you a slightly faster charge, but it's very difficult to work out whether or not it'll be successful or not. So take care and thanks for watching.